I'm Jem Gary. Um, I just moved to Turkey from London, actually. Um, I'm a civil engineer by training, and I worked in construction and uh, infrastructure financing for about five years. Um, just 10 days ago, I moved to Turkey. I'm originally Turkish, uh, of course, and I lead tech investments on behalf of my family. I also have a day job. Uh, I work in infrastructure and project development, but I, I love technology. Uh, it inspires me and it allows me to grow and expand. So I take a great pleasure uh, and pride in, in being able to support entrepreneurs, and I hope to become one myself, actually. This is my second time attending Startup Istanbul. The first time was two years ago in the Wyndham Hotel, um, and, and I was a listener there. There was a brilliant crowd. This year as well, there's a fantastic crowd here, 65 countries, um, a lot of talent, uh, a wealth of opportunity. This is a celebration of entrepreneurship, and it's an important event for Istanbul and for Turkey. It allows uh, Turkey and Istanbul to be one of the gravitation centers for entrepreneurs around our region. And that's really important because um, as Turkey, we already are the bridge between the West and the East. And I think we can also become the bridge between the West and the East when it comes to attracting entrepreneurs and capital. Um, so th these guys, Asla and Burak, are fantastic. They've been doing this for many, many years. So all of the credit to them. Um, I expect Startup Istanbul to have a great contribution into the ecosystem of, of the Turkish startup uh, scene. I actually invest in later stages. Most of the companies that um, present here are seed stage companies. So I didn't have a chance to, to partake. But what they've done, which is really smart, is they've taken the seed stage companies that have participated in last year's events. And the ones that have grown best, they've selected as the scale up. Uh, participants, which is, a, which is a great strategy. It brings the founders back to the event, and they've adopted and grown. They've matured their businesses, and they've matured as individuals. Uh, so it's a fantastic idea to bring them back. Let's see, let's see how, um, how things will evolve from here. But I'm really impressed by uh, the people I've met today and over the course of the days, as I was two years ago. So I'm happy to be a part of, part of the journey, potentially. Potentially, we, uh, we are very, I might potentially do. We're very active um, and we have very stringent due diligence criteria. We actually see more than 100 uh, companies a month and we actually only invest in two or three a year. So um, we, we make sure we're trying to back the right people. Right, so we like real businesses um, that are resilient to economic downturns that provide an essential service or product that people need to use. Uh, so even if there's an economic downturn or there's a funding crunch, um, these companies will be able to perform, and based on that performance, they'll be able to continue their, their life cycle as, as a successful company. As examples in that, we, we do logistics and supply chain companies. Uh, we do healthcare companies. We do property tech companies. Um, so, so all of these companies are solving a fundamental uh, societal need. We, we don't think we understand digital that well, um, so what we're looking at for is the intersection of the real business environment, uh, technology, and innovative business models. When those three come together, especially in, in emerging markets, which is the focus of Startup Istanbul, uh, we believe that that's the winning formula. I don't think I'm in a, in a position to advise entrepreneurs because entrepreneurship is a very different journey. Um, I, I did not experience the journey of becoming an entrepreneur, and I, and I imagine the stringent stress and, um, and commitment that's necessary to succeed. But one thing I can, I can tell us from an investor point of view um, is that startups need to be bold. They need to be global or at least regional. Uh, and they need to ensure that they also have a cadre or consortium of investors that are also hopefully regional and, and maybe even, even global. And um, that's how that's how we've seen most of the successful startups. I've attended many startup events uh, globally in San Francisco, in, in London, in New York, uh, in Paris, in, in Berlin. Um, startup Istanbul is unique in a sense whereby the people who come here are from frontier markets, um, are from emerging markets, and that fits the ethos of Turkey really well because Turkey is the bridge between the East and the West, and again, Startup Istanbul is bridging the frontier markets 
with investors who are interested in for frontier markets. So that makes Startup Istanbul really unique and stand out. So for any investor who's interested in, in emerging markets uh, or frontier markets or developing markets, I would wholeheartedly recommend Startup Istanbul.